Welcome to Wellness Wednesday. I'm Pamela Carvel. I'm a Master Practitioner of NLP and I'm also a Qualified Nutrition Advisor. And twice a week I'm going to record these short videos to, to talk about some of my top tips for um, achieving and maintaining optimal well-being. And I'm calling them hashtag Feel Good Friday and hashtag Wellness Wednesday. So this is Wellness Wednesday, obviously. And I want to talk today about hydration because the, the sports scientists, sports nutritionists have shown that by the time you're feeling thirsty, you're actually already dehydrated. So you should never let yourself reach the point where you are dehydrated and feeling thirsty. What they've also shown is that even if you are as dehydrated by as little as 1%, that can have an up to 5% impact on your ability to perform physically or mentally. That's how significant it is. So think, think about that. Think about the importance if you want to feel physically and mentally as good as you possibly can, then it's important to stay hydrated. Now, I'm going to talk water for the rest of this video because it's just easier. M my hydration of preference <laughs> is Evian mineral water because I love the clear, clean taste of it. But it, it's any hydration is better than no hydration, let's put it that way to start off with. Now, how much hydration do you need? Now there's a very, very simple calculation. The average woman burns 2,000 calories, you need two litres. The average man burns 2,500 calories, needs 2,500 litres. It's not complicated, it's not difficult to remember. And the, the, the beauty of that calculation is so if you go and do a huge workout, uh, go running for several miles, you know, realize that you're burning three and a half thousand calories. Well, you need three and a half liters. So it, it's very easy to remember and to calculate. So please bear that in mind. Not complicated. The obviously from a sports perspective, because I'm not just a qualified nutrition advisor, I'm also qualified in sports nutrition, is the best way to work out how much hydration you lose when you're exercising, if you're I'm talking serious exercise here, is to weigh yourself before and after because the only difference between those two weights is the liquid that you've lost. So you need to, because you don't stop sweating the minute you stop exercising, you need to replace that plus 50%, which allows for the fact your body's going to continue sweating. Now on that point of sweating, when you are stressed or anxious, of course you sweat more, so you need more hydration. So in these very, very stressful, anxious times, please bear in mind that you need more hydration than you would normally to compensate for that. Um, and a fact I learnt not so long ago is that um, a lot of people, actually elderly, I'm talking elderly people here, tend to die in bed at night of heart attacks. And the reason for that it's caused or contributed to by the dehydration. Because as people get older, they don't want to keep on getting up in the middle of the night in the dark to nip to the bathroom. So therefore they don't drink enough liquid. Um, and therefore their body ends up dehydrated, which has serious consequences you know, for the brain, for the heart, um, and for your general well-being. So it's that serious. Another thing to bear in mind is your body can do without food for a long time. In fact, even somebody who isn't overweight has enough fat resources to run 15 marathons. Yes, and that's from a, a nutrition textbook. Um, however, you can't go without liquid for very long. Uh, therefore, you know, you die of dehydration much quicker than you'll die of starvation. Um, but moving on to something more more positive, uh, the type of hydration that you get. Now, I say water and cups of tea are my preference. Obviously, bear in mind that if you drink things like coffee, caffeine is a diuretic, so you don't get the full benefit of the of the the liquid. Similarly, obviously, alcohol is not a very clever way to get your your hydration. Um, and finally, I want to talk about sweet fizzy drinks like Coca Cola and so on. Obviously, they are are the worst way to get your hydration. Although. Still better than being dehydrated if that's your drink of choice. But to be honest, you know, they're, they're, they're calorie dense and nutrition poor, as we say, um, because they're loaded with calories, unless you go for the diet version, but then they've got all the extra chemicals in to compensate for the lack of sugar. Um, offer no nutritional value whatsoever. So you're better off drinking water than fooling your poor body into to thinking, you know, it's getting sugar constantly throughout the day. Your body was not designed to be processing sugar on an ongoing basis. So bear that in mind, water or good old fashioned cups of tea, great way to go. So guys, it's fairly straightforward. It contributes to your physical and mental well-being 
to stay hydrated. Personally, I have a bottle of Evian mineral water by my desk, behind my car seat, by my bed, by the coffee table in the lounge. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a real drag in that I've got water everywhere I go, but it means that I never end up dehydrated. So guys, this is your Wednesday wellness tip. Stay hydrated.